As you were crocheting, uh, you probably already noticed um, that when you finish your work, your work on the top look very neat and clean. It does look like um, the chain itself when you just um, made a chain to begin your work with. So this is the top, this is the end of the work when I finish this piece. This is the edge on the bottom when we started our work and uh, as we were crocheting we always were inserting the hook into the back loop when we just started um, the first row. So when we had chain, just simple chain, every time we were crocheting we will um, go into the, doesn't matter what stitch, right? We were coming into the front loop of the chain and we are making our uh, stitches, whatever stitches we were making. When we were doing this um, and continue our work, the edge were at the end will look like that. And if you look very carefully and put those two together, the, 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 front, the, the top of the work and the bottom, you see they are different. So if you are very uh, picky and um, would love your first project to be exactly beautiful and clean and nice and you would like to have this edge, exactly the same edge that you have on the top as you finish your work. If you would like the same edge on the bottom, to make it look like this, here's the top of the work and this is the bottom of the work. So you will think, how did I do this? So that the edge on the bottom and on the top when you finish look identical. So there's the way of doing it. It depends how you insert your hook into the chain, the previous, the first chain, the, the foundation chain. So in order to do that, when you start crocheting, first you'll make the free amount of stitches for your foundation chain. And let's see at the chain. When we were uh, learning in the first lesson the structure of a stitch and a chain, I showed you that the chain look like, each stitch look like letter V. This is on the front. And if you look at the back of the chain, you will see bumps right over here. So in order to receive this uh, edge at the bottom of your work, you need to crochet your stitches. It doesn't matter what stitches you will choose, single crochet or double crochet or triple crochet. You will need to go into the bump with the hook every time you make a stitch. So here does how does it work. You pick up your hook, make a chain of the length you wish, and insert the hook into the bump right over there, onto the bump only. Bring the yarn through this stitch and make your stitch, whatever stitch. I'm, I chose to go with single crochet right now. Again, next bump right over here, right there. Insert the hook into the bump, wrap around yarn around the hook and continue crocheting again into the bump so when you crochet into the bump the bottom edge when you finish will have exactly the look that on the top so this is over the, the top of our work and if you turn it upside down, this is the bottom of the work. Exactly the same as the top. So continue doing this all the way to the end and then continue every row the way you chose to crochet in the front loop or back loop or both loops together and 
whatever stitch you choose in order to have by the way at the bottom at the end at the end the last stitch will be this right over here here's the bump kind of tricky to get into it when at the end but here it is so when you finish your work the top of the work and the bottom will be identical so try probably you will like it if you want to make your first uh, the simplest um, project it's a scarf always to crochet with um, a hook um, try to do it this way crochet the first um, row by inserting the hook into the uh, bump on the chain and this is how the edge will look like